Let's meet the eight athletes who will contend for gold in the women's vault final at these Pan American Games. Camille Betances of the Dominican Republic, the 19-year-old from Mexico. Santo Domingo. Aziri Sandoval of Mexico, the third strongest qualifier. Argentina, Argentina, Lucila Estarli, the 29-year-old from Argentina, the sixth best in qualification. A huge ovation for Macarena Pinto, the 35-year-old from Chile. And also from Chile, Francesca Santi in her second Pan American Games. The United States of America, Estados Unidos de America, Jordan Childs. The team gold and all around bronze medalist, Jordan Childs of the USA. Mexico, Mexico Natalia Escalera. And from Mexico, Natalia Escalera, the 21 year old from Brazil. Ensenada. Brazil. One of the great stars of world gymnastics, Rebecca Andrade of Brazil, the reigning world and Olympic champion on this apparatus. There they are. Among them is your 2023 Pan American Games gold medalist on vault. But who is she? Well, we are about to find out. has already been a historic Pan American Games for the Brazilian women who are coming off of a positively historic world championships. They have won team silver at both events for the first time in their history for Brazil. It was their first team medal ever at the world championships. Jordan Childs will go up in the second group of four in this women's vault final. Here is the competition order. We will start with Camille Betances of the Dominican Republic, followed by Aziri Sandoval of Mexico, Lucila Estarli of Argentina, and Macarena Pinto will close out the first half. Then there will be a short warm up for the next four before Francesca Santi, Jordan Childs, Natalia Escalera, and Rebecca Andrade will be up last. Oh, this is a vault lineup to get very excited about. Jordan Childs, the world silver medalist from 2022 on women's vault. Rebecca Andrade with her phenomenal first vault in qualification. She said she felt it was one of the best she'd ever done. But we will come back to that. Here's the warm up of Macarena Pinto, the 35 year old from Providencia, the reigning South American Games champion on vault. She was 24th on vault as well at the World Championships just a few weeks ago. This is Camille Betances, the gymnast who will be vaulting first. Mexican representation in this final from Aziri Sandoval, a 27 year old, as well as from Natalia Escalera. Here is Lucila Estarli.
Schumacher and Pinto might show us one of the most unusual vaults in this competition. She has done a timer for it. Most of the time in the warm-ups, the gymnasts might not do their full difficulty vault, just do something that gets them into the air so they have a sense of things when they actually go for it. One last touch for Lucila Estarly. And with that, she that will leave so the podium please, please and the floor will be all for Camille Betances. The women's vault final at the 2023 Pan American Games has begun. First to go will be Camille Betances of the Dominican Republic. She begins with a very clean Yurchenko with a full twist. entry onto the horse allows her to get a good lift plenty of time to complete the full twist she keeps her body good and straight throughout the vault spots the landing and there's just the matter of the small step on the landing we will see more difficult vaults, but this is a very good, clean beginning for this 19-year-old from the Dominican Republic, the seventh strongest in the qualification. The score for this vault in the qualification was 12.633, carries a difficulty tariff of 4.2. Twelve point six six six, the score for Camille Betances on her first vault. Very consistent compared to qualification, up just a smidge. Here's her second vault. Sukahara done in the layout position. This a vault of lower difficulty, just 3.8 is the difficulty value that she gets. Cleanly performed, however. Camille is 19 years old. She has just graduated from university where she studied psychology. When she's not doing her own training, she's coaching young gymnasts. Camille Betances tiene 19 años. Camille Betances has really become a fixture at the Pan American Championships during the past few years. She was also a competitor at the World Championships in 2019 and
and she has competed on the World Cup circuit as well, notably in Paris at the very popular and well-attended World Challenge Cup. The score for her second vault, 12.033. And Camille Betances has an average of 12.349. And now from Mexico, Atziri Sandoval. And potentially one of the big vaults of the Pan American Games in this final. Really lovely double twisting Sukahara. Atziri selects the Sukahara with the double twist. It has this carries a difficulty score of 5.2. And it's very impressive the way that she keeps her legs perfectly straight and locked together in the after flight before she lands on the ground. Good approach, good in the repulsion phase. That's what they call the part where the gymnast has her hands on the table and is getting a push off. And she won't lose too much for the hop on the landing. And quite significantly for Sandoval, this is a vault that carries a difficulty score that is quite high, 13.833, her score. Here's her second vault. Very nice front handspring, front layout with a half twist. And her second vault is a handspring in a stretch position with a half turn. That's a very good pair of vaults for Adziri Sandoval. Once again, very nice body position. She is ever so slightly piked in the third phase of the vault, the after flight. And then there is the matter of the step. It's a more significant one than she took on her first vault. So we are likely to see her score drop a bit. All that said, it's a strong performance overall. She has been so good on the Continental and World Cup level. She's won the Pan American Championships on this apparatus. And this is a gymnast who has her ticket to Paris and the Olympic Games in hand next year. She earned that actually on uneven bars at the World Championships in Antwerp this month. Twelve point six is the score for her second vault. And her average down ever so slightly from qualification, 13.216. And now from Argentina, this is Lucila Estarli. A good Sukahara with full twist, her first vault. Carries a D score of 4.4. Lucila competed at the Pan American Games in 2011 with her sister, Agustina. And she is the national champion on vault in Argentina from 2022. She's been a gymnast for more than 25 years now. Her parents are actually gymnastics coaches and she started taking classes in their academy when she was three years old. She's been to two world championships 13 years apart. She was at the Worlds in Rotterdam in 2010, and she was at the World Championships in Antwerp this year. She said she absolutely adored the experience. 12.766, the score for Lucila Estarli of Argentina on her first vault. Her second one is coming right up.
Handspring front pike. Not enough push off the table, nor rotation. But she was not too far off. The C is 29 years old. She graduated from university with a degree in physical education. Lucila S. Starley is a sports teacher, following in the footsteps of her parents. And she's somebody who really has come back into the fold of the Argentinian national team rather recently. It's been lovely having her back and seeing her thriving on the international stage. Lucila Estarli was the sixth strongest on vault in the qualification. 11.966, the average of the two vaults. To Chile now, and Macarena Pinto. The reigning South American Games vault champion. And in the top 25 in the world on this apparatus. Chile, Macarena Pinto Adas. Vaulting now, Macarena Pinto of Chile. An ambitious vault, handspring front one and a half in the tuck position. It carries a D score of 4.6. However, she is quite far off to the side. It actually starts from the, before the repulsion phase. She gets it around, but she will have a penalty of three tenths of a point for both of her feet crossing the white line. And there will also be execution deductions for the steps. A bit of under rotation as well. The judges stand to be able to see the podium and the landing. Macarena Pinto started gymnastics in this city when she was six years old at Club Palestino. 12.5, the score for Macarena Pinto for her first vault. Here is her second. Sukahara with a full twist, and unfortunately, that does not go the way that she planned. But she has an exceptional philosophy. She says, I enjoy and learn from every failure and every achievement. And if the result is not what I expected or hoped for, I try again no matter what. Macarena Pinto. The mother of two, a son and a daughter. She took a significant amount of time away from gymnastics in the mid-aughts. She studied physical education. She said that her passion for gymnastics was rekindled by leading workshops for children. Leader remains at Ziri Sandoval as Macarena Pinto scores 11.966. That is her average for the two vaults. So halfway through this final, it is at Ziri Sandoval of Mexico in the provisional gold medal position. Camille Betances of the Dominican Republic. Now in second place, followed by Lucila Estarli and Macarena Pinto of Chile. The 
other four gymnasts in this final currently warming up. Francesca Santi of Chile, Jordan Childs of the USA, Natalia Escalera, and Rebecca Andraj. Let's have a look back at the highlights of the first half of this final. Siri Sandoval of Mexico, the leader on women's vault halfway through. Four strong contenders still to come though. Francesca Santi. And Jordan Childs of the United States. What a phenomenal vaulter she is. second vault. No timer necessary. And there, Hebeka Andraj, the world champion, the Olympic champion as well. Natalia Escalera warming up a Yurchenko one and a half. The warm up vault of Hebeka Andraj. Enormous timer. The, Bra the Brazilian fans encouraging her with their voices. What a story that is, Francesca Santi. champion from the Lima 2019 Pan American Games. Ellie Black of Canada is not at this competition. So just like on men's floor exercise, we are guaranteed a new champion.
competition set to resume on vault here in Santiago. And the first gymnast that we will see in the second part of this final is from Chile, the 31 year old from Valparaiso. the second half of the women's vault final. Representing Chile, here is Francesca Santi. Double twisting Yurchenko. And she is off the mat, but wow, she went for it. Didn't she just? She vaulted only a, four, a full twisting Yurchenko in the qualification. It's a matter of risk and reward. She has obviously calculated that if she is to have a shot at the medal, she needed to do this vault. And she does it safely, that's the important thing. However, it is not to be today. She has struggled somewhat with injury lately, and it has affected her training. But she finishes with a smile. It's lovely to see her enjoying herself. And the flags are waving. She is receiving such a warm ovation from the home crowd. 12.2 the score. Second vault coming up for Francesca Santi of Chile. Sukahara with a full twist, very clean. Francesca Santi is a story of perseverance. She took up gymnastics in Vina del Mar when she was eight years old. And then a few years after that, her family moved to Spain for her father's job. She did some tests at the High Performance Training Center in Madrid. She liked it and they liked her, but her family did not have the money to permit her to continue training in gymnastics. And so she stopped for several years until her family returned to Chile. She's back now, she's coaching and she's engaged. She returned to international competition 10 years ago and has posted excellent results for Chile since then. Four bronze medals on vault from World Challenge Cup events. And she was in the vault final at the Pan American Games four years ago. 12.483, the score, the ultimate average score for Francesca Santi, who is blowing kisses to the crowd and they are responding, expressing their love for her. Despite the fall on her first vault, she's still in second place. Anything is possible. To Jordan Childs of the United States, the world silver medalist on this apparatus in 2022. Gorgeous double twisting Yurchenko. It's a beautiful and very consistent vault for Jordan Childs. The mechanics of it are so good. The way that she absorbs the table with her shoulders to get good block and get up into the air. And she has plenty of height and a good tight twist. Lovely laid out body position and the tiniest hop on landing. It's a confident and beautiful performance. 14.4 
The score for Jordan Childs on her first vault. And note the difficulty, 5.0. That is significant and could come into play when it comes to deciding the medals. Second vault now for Jordan Childs of the USA. This is a Podkopayeva named for the 1996 Olympic champion, Lilia Podkopayeva, who did it to great effect. Has a slightly lower difficulty than the first one. And just enjoy this exhibition of smooth vaulting from the 22-year-old American. Olympic silver team medalist from Tokyo and she's the round off onto the board half twist onto the table and front layout with a half twist off so well controlled and so nice in the air her legs are straight she remains completely extended throughout she really flies 14.150 and we have a new leader on women's vault. Now from Mexico, Natalia Escalera takes to the vault. This is likely a Yurchenko with one and a half twists. Well performed by the Mexican all-around champion, Natalia Escalera, a 21-year-old from Ensenada in northern Mexico. Rather fittingly, it is a massive aerospace center. And she takes off really well from the table. Again, she gets a great piece of air in which to complete the one and a half twist, and it's a blind landing. so. Unlike with a full twist or a double full twist, she can't spot the ground. But that is no problem. She opens her arms out. What a gymnast needs to do to go for a good landing when she can't see the mat. 13.6 the score for Natalia Escalera. And that is up significantly from qualification where she got 13.366 on her first vault. So things are moving in the right direction for her. Second vault now for Natalia Escalera of Mexico. Sukahara with a full twist and another very secure landing. twisting Sugahara. Her body is slightly piked on the afterflight. You can see the bending at the hips. And then small hop on the landing, but she won't lose too much for that. Really was quite a good landing. She was a world finalist on this apparatus in 2021, called it a dream come true. 13.333 and provisional silver medal position for Natalia Escalera of Mexico. And so as things stand, we have two Mexican gymnasts on the podium. Natalia Escalera in the silver medal position and Atziri Sandoval with bronze. So Escalera is guaranteed a medal. One performer still to compete. And it is the world champion, Rebecca Andrade of Brazil. Here we go. Amazing. There are no superlatives that can be properly deployed 
to say how very good what we just saw from Hebeka Andrade was. It might be the best of her career. Absolutely flawless. The Chang, the only one that we will see, and a stick, unquestionably a stick. Round off onto the board, half turn onto the table, and then a front layout with one and a half twists. The body position is phenomenal. But what makes it maybe the best she has ever done it in competition is the way that she sticks it. And the other gymnasts in this final are on their feet for that. Well deserved, 15.333, and look at the execution, 9.733. It is a near-perfect vault. A hush falls over the arena. Here's her second. Double twist in Yurchenko, and once again, magnificent work from the world champion, the Olympic champion, and potentially the Pan American Games champion. Take a bow, Hebeka Andrade. You have left your competitors, even your closest competitors, in awe. She has so much time in completing the double twist that she spreads her arms out to go for the landing. Few in the world manage to do it like that. Not to mention the body position, the completely straight legs, and the extremely well-controlled landing. It's vault at its very best. It's Hebeka Andraj, 14.983. And there is your Pan American Games gold medalist. Jordan Childs will take the silver. And it is bronze for Natalia Escalera and Mexico. Hebeka Andraj is on the podium with the Brazilian flag. And the Brazilian fans are absolutely delighted. Gold to Brazil on vault, silver for the United States. Jordan Childs says, yes, number three. And that gives Jordan Childs a medal of each color at the Pan American Games. The final standings on vault at the 2023 Pan American Games. And Rebecca Andrade, just as she did at the World Championships three weeks ago, takes the gold medal. Jordan Childs with silver, Natalia Escalera of Mexico with the bronze. We will see Hebeka Andraj and Jordan Childs a little bit later on again in the uneven bars final. Much excitement surrounding the Brazilian delegation at these games. Much of the attention directed at the new Pan American Games champion on vault. Earned in spectacular fashion by Hebeka Andraj. Let's take a look back at the highlights of this women's vault final.
it is now time for the victory ceremony for the women's vault final at the 2023 Pan American Games in Santiago, Chile. There is a look at your champion, Rebeca Andrade of Brazil. The Santiago 2023 Pan American Games presents the Women's Vault Medal Ceremony. Los Juegos Panamericanos Santiago 2023 presentan la ceremonia de premiación de la final de salto femenino. Presentation party, including Erskine Simmons. Erskine Simmons, miembro del comité ejecutivo de Panam Sports y secretario general de la Asociación Olímpica de Barbados. Accompanied by Victor Esteban Corruntia, Chilean Gymnastics Federation president. Acompañado por Victor Esteban Corruntia. Presidente de la Federación Chilena de Gimnasia. Bronze Medal, representing Mexico. Medalla de bronce, representando a México. Natalia Escalera. Natalia Escalera of Mexico becomes the first woman to win a Pan American Games medal on vault since Elsa Garcia took silver in 2011. The gymnast from a massive aerospace center in Mexico has taken off on vault. Bronze to Natalia Escalera of Mexico. Jordan Childs wins the silver medal on vault. The gymnast who won three medals in her world championship debut in 2022 now owns three medals at her debut Pan American Games. Following team gold and all around bronze, today it is a silver on vault. The silver medal to Jordan Childs of the United States. People are already declaring the first vault of Rebecca Andraj in this apparatus final to be the best Chang ever performed. It is a vault that will be looked at in awe in years to come, decades even. What a well-deserved gold medal for Rebecca Andraj of Brazil. the Olympic champion, the world champion, and now the Pan American Games gold medalist. Ladies and gentlemen, the national anthem of Brazil. Damas y caballeros, el himno nacional de Brasil.
the Brazilian anthem played in honor of Rebeca Andrade. The final results on a women's vault at the 2023 Pan American Games. Bronze to Natalia Escalera of Mexico, silver to Jordan Childs of the USA, and gold to Rebeca Andrade of Brazil. and Jordan Childs later on in the final on the uneven bars. And here are the gymnasts in the women's uneven bars final. Two Brazilians, two Americans, two Mexicans, and two Canadians. Who is it going to be? Brazil. Brazil. Flavia Saraiva. From Brazil, the six-time Pan American Games medalist Flavia Brazil. Saraiva. Brazil. Rebeca Andrade. Fresh from winning the vault title. And Team Brazil. Silver, Rebeca Andrade Brazil. of Brazil. Atziri Sandoval of Mexico, competing on the apparatus that won her an Olympic berth. Ava Stewart of Canada, the highly innovative 18-year-old. Zoe Miller of the United States is the top qualifier on uneven bars. And Jordan Childs, fresh from team gold, all around bronze and vault silver, hoping to add to her medical collection. Paulina Campos of Mexico. Canada. Canada. Orly Tran. Orly Tran, the national champion from Canada. Presentation of the athletes complete. The gymnasts will move over to the uneven bars where Flavia Saraiva will get the show underway. Gymnasts, your warm up begins now. As ever, on uneven bars, gymnasts have the right to a warm-up period. And we will be seeing the first four who are going to compete, taking a warm-up now. They will warm up in competition order. So Flavia Saraiva up on the bars at the moment. Her teammate, absolutely spectacular on vault today. She is also excellent on uneven bars. The world silver medalist from 2021. And the start list for the uneven bars final, Flavia Saraiva and Rebecca Andraj going in the one and two positions. Atziri Sandoval of Mexico performing third and Ava Stewart completing the first half of the final. Zoe Miller, the top qualifier from the United States of America. She will perform fifth.
Stewart of Canada completing her warm up. And there is Zoe Miller of the United States of America. She delivered a brilliant set in the qualification. It was the only apparatus she performed on 14.766. Top score and that more than four tenths of a point in excess of Rebecca Andraj, who was second. Flavia Saraiva of Brazil, the all-around silver medalist in her third Pan American Games. Toast Alder with a full, connected to a Pike Kachev, to immediate pack salto to the low bar. Toast Alder to Maloney, and connects that with a ginger, a very nice ginger as well. Dismounts a double front. Excellent. Well, Brazil is just on fire today, as they have been for the last little while. What a calm and confident performance from Flavia Saraiva to get this final going. Even bars a la Flavia. She does a nice job hitting the 12 o'clock position in nearly all of her handstands. And she finishes off with this very secure double front dismount. Again, the landing is blind. She has plenty of experience to draw from, however. 23 years old and so many medals over the years. The score for Flavia Saraiva 13.7. Three, three. And that is one tenth of a point higher than she had in qualification. To the gold medal contender, Rebecca Andraj of Brazil. Maloney to uprise Stalderful. Doesn't stop there. Pike Kachev. And then a pack salto, four elements connected very well. It's important for her difficulty. Her same bar release is a Pike Jaeger. Slowed her momentum just a little bit, but it's not going to be a big deal. She connects her dismount as well. Full twisting double tuck. Great routine from Hebeka Andraj. Difficulty and execution, the full package from this Brazilian superstar. Take a look and admire the amplitude and the mastery with which she works this routine. The Maloney transition from low to high, followed by a Stalder uprise with P 
pirouette. This is the only place where there's a really big deduction, and that's because she catches the bar with her elbows bent. She was a little close on the Pike Jaeger, but she literally did not let it slow her down. Fourteen point three was Andrade's score on an even bars in qualification. Still to perform at Ziri Sandoval and Ava Stewart of Canada. Rebecca Andrade, amongst many other things, is the reigning Brazilian champion in the all-around. She won that title in August. It's always thrilling to see her compete all four apparatus. She doesn't do it too often due to trying to protect herself from the injuries that she has sustained in previous years and always come back from She says those injuries have matured her. And they absolutely adore her in Brazil. And not just in Brazil, she is one of the most admired and respected gymnasts on the international circuit. with what she did in qualification. <laughs> to Atziri Sandoval of Mexico. <laughs> Shaposhnikova. Salto. There's her Maloney. She combines it with a bail to the low bar and a toe shoot up to high. Wonderful Ginger. Such flight. Good acceleration into a double twisting double tuck and wow, what a landing! Atziri Sandoval pulling out all of the stops on uneven bars in this final. That dismount is really something special. This is the routine that qualified her to the Paris Olympic Games. It's rather rare in gymnastics these days that we see a regular Shaposhnikova, clear hip circle, heck to high bar. She combines hers with a pack salto. This was a crisp routine. It was a slight leg separation as she catches her ginger but you hardly notice because you are so distracted by how high she gets. And her height on the double twisting, double tuck dismount is extraordinary, as is that landing. What a wonderful stick for the 27-year-old veteran. She has an uneven bars title from a World Challenge Cup event in Portugal few years ago. She won bronze at the Central American and Caribbean Games this year. The 
score, 13.466 for Atziri Sandoval of Mexico. Ava Stewart of Canada prepares to begin her routine. She is already a bronze medalist with the Canadian team. And there's intrigue in this exercise because she had a fall in the qualification on her dismount, but came back and nailed it in the all around final last night. There's a lot of variety in this exercise. Here comes her dismount. It's her own double front in the pike position and a deep squat and step forward, but she has made it. That's a hit routine for Ava Stewart. Stewart was one of the youngest gymnasts at the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games. She was one of only three gymnasts from born in the year 2005 to make it to the Games. And we will be seeing her compete for the University of Minnesota as of next year. This is her Van Leeuwen transition. Toast Alder hecked with half turn. And this is all her own. The dismount front double pike has to time it exactly in order to get a good landing. She has been the Canadian champion on uneven bars. The World Cup in Cairo this year. She was fifth on the apparatus. Their day's work done. Rebecca Andraj and Flavia Sareva can have a debrief. The score for Ava Stewart of Canada 13.1. And just like that, we are into the second half of this uneven bars final. At the top, presently, Rebecca Andraj of Brazil, followed by her teammate, Flavia Saraiva, chasing a seventh Pan American Games medal. And then Atziri Sandoval of Mexico in the provisional bronze medal spot. gymnast will be on the uneven bars next. You're looking at the warm-up of Jordan Childs. Silver medalist on vault earlier today. And the gold medalist with the team in addition to being the bronze medalist in the all-around yesterday. It's been a very successful game for the 22-year-old thus far. Bars now from Mexico, Polina Campos. She warmed up a spectacular release skill. Was there connected to the pack salto. Campos, a 23 year old from San Luis Potosi. of Canada.
completes the warm-up period. Judges, please call your next competitor. Ha finalizado el tiempo de calentamiento. Once again, here is the start list for the Uneven Bars Apparatus Final. We are halfway through, which means we will see the bottom of the order, beginning with Zoe Miller of the United States. This is a big moment for Miller, a 17-year-old born in Hartford, Connecticut. Zoe Miller of the United States on the Uneven Bars. This is the routine that clinched the gold medal for Team USA in the team competition. She makes great use of the in-bar stalder. It's one reason her routine carries the difficulty value that it does. And that downy to pack salto combination is another. She shoots right to the handstand. Dismount, double layout. Excellent routine from Zoe Miller of the United States, the 17-year-old. Zoe Miller, 18 years old. She's the 2023 American champion of all and even bars, and part of that incredible gold medal winning team on day one here in Santiago. She has been noted for a long time for her beautiful work on the uneven bars. And her road to the Pan American Games has been strewn with injuries. She had surgery on both of her ankles in 2021 and a back fracture last year. Another injury kept her out of the Pan American Championships this year. It's so nice to see her healthy and thriving at this event and thriving she is. It's the only word to describe her performances at these games. <laughs> she says that she adores the travel associated with high level gymnastics and meeting new people like them perhaps. 14.666 into first place goes Zoe Miller of the USA. 6.4, the difficulty. Considerably higher than anyone else in this field. Jordan Childs of the USA. She had a mistake on the uneven bars in the all around final. Did an intermediate swing after one of her transition elements. See what she's got programmed here. She's off to a good start already, having connected her first three elements. She didn't do that in the all around final. This is where the mistake happened. Absolutely no problem today. protocol from the United States telling the gymnast not to try to get back up too quickly after a scary fall she really missed the optimal time to release the bar to go for the Pike Jaeger and as a result she was way too close it's just good to see her back on her feet it's a jarring fall She's being given a very warm ovation as she's lifted back to the bar.
Triple twisting, double tech dismount, and she sticks it. Because Jordan Childs was not going Jordan to let Childs that be the last word on uneven bars the fall. She was selected for the honor of being the flag bearer for the United States of America at the Pan American Games opening ceremonies here in Santiago. Jordan the score, Childs. the result, it doesn't really matter. What matters is that Jordan Childs is okay after that fall. And well done for to her for getting back up on the bars and finishing the routine with aplomb. The score for it, Jordan Childs on the uneven bars, 12.4. Representando a Mexico, Paulina Representing Campos. Mexico, Paulina Campos, the 23-year-old in her first individual final at a Pan American Games. And straight away, she misses her Van Leeuwen transition. It's a difficult start to the routine for Paulina Campos. She has quite an ambitious program on the uneven bars beginning with the Pike Jaeger. And their clear hip through to Pike Kachev. <gasps> oh, goodness me. And once again, it's the transitions that are getting the better of Polina Campos of Mexico. The skills where the gymnast puts their toes on the bar and the idea is to generate enough force to shoot to the high bar and grab it. But what wonderful air sense she has. You can tell this is a gymnast when she tucks her body in order to achieve a safe landing on the mat. Full twisting double tuck dismount. Polina Campos of Mexico on the uneven bars. A rocky routine, Santiago. but she has made well it through. Done for your encouragement for Paulina Campos, 23 years old, silver team medal at the Pan American Championships earlier this year. She's at university for administration. Paulina Campos, de 23 años, fue medallista de plata por equipos en el Campeonato Panamericano de 2023. Here is another look at her dismount. Double salto in the tuck position with full twist and just a step forward. Paulina Campos accompanied by her mother Esmeralda, who is still her gymnastics coach and has been since she was a child. She says of her and her mother, we always move forward together. There's a bit of love from Zoe Miller. 
Miller leading the way with 14.666. And the two Brazilians, Rebecca Andrade and Flavia Saraiva, presently in silver and bronze medal positions. Miller guaranteed a medal at this point. Campos says that her motto is never give up. And even throughout the struggles in that routine, she did not give up. A credit to her and who she is as an athlete. Eleven point four the score for Paulina Campos on the uneven bars. to the final competitor in this women's uneven bars final, the national champion from Canada, Aurélie Tran. She had a fall on uneven bars in the all around final yesterday. Good Van Leeuwen. Clear hip circle to a toe full. That was where the problem happened. She dealt with it much better today. Her single bar release, a Jaeger. Dismount is a double layout. What a nice routine to close out this uneven bars final from Aurélie Tran of Canada. Aurélie Tran. Hit set feels very good, no doubt, after the problems yesterday evening. She was selected for the honor of being Team Canada's flag bearer at the opening ceremony. Orly Tran forma parte del equipo mundial de 2023 para Canadá. Fue abanderada de Canadá en la ceremonia de apertura del campeonato. Her swing is very fluid. Maloney transition to pack Salto down to the low bar. And she had a small problem on her toe stalder full turn on the high bar, but she got it back under control very quickly. We are just waiting. For Dismounting with a double results. layout and Please then celebrating with continue. her coach. Estamos esperando el último resultado. Por favor, quédense con nosotros para la siguiente final. Guaranteed a medal. Zoe Miller of the USA and Rebecca Andrade of Brazil. Flavia Saraiva presently in the bronze medal position. And it's 13.1 for Aurélie Tran, and that confirms the bronze to Flavia Saraiva. Rebecca Andrade will take the silver, and Zoe Miller is your Pan American Games champion on uneven bars. The top qualifier delivers once again Please go on the apparatus that she specializes on. And once more, the Brazilians are on the podium. Andrade and Flavia Saraiva 
silver and bronze, but Zoe Miller and the USA have the gold. Gold on vault and now silver on an even bars for Rebecca Andraj. We will see them all again in the victory ceremony in about half an hour's time. Let's have a look back at the highlights. The final results Please in the women's the uneven athletes. bars final. Zoe Miller of the USA taking gold Ladies ahead of Rebecca Andraj and Flavia Saraiva of Brazil. The medals will be presented by Suzanne Lyons, Pan Am Sports third vice president. The presentation Las party. Serán presentadas por Susan Lyons, tercer vicepresidenta de Pan Am Sports. Accompanied by Yasida Dablia, president of the women's technical committee of the gymnastics Pan American Union. Acompañada por Yazira Davila, a most respected judge and official in the Pan American Gymnastics Union. Bronze medal representing Brazil. Medalla de bronce representando a Brasil, Flavia Saraiva. Flavia Saraiva wins the bronze medal on uneven bars, her eighth Pan American Games medal. What a terrific competition she is having, following Silvers with the Brazilian team and on her own in the all around yesterday. The bronze medal to Flavia Saraiva of Brazil. Representing Brazil. Medalla de Plata. Representando a Brazil. Rebecca Andrade. It is so unbelievable to think that Rebecca Andrade is in her first Pan American Games. Very quickly, she has tallied three medals, including gold on vault and this silver on the uneven bars. The silver medal to Rebecca Andraj of Brazil. Gold medal and Pan American Games champion representing the United States of America, 
medalla de oro y campeón de los Juegos Panamericanos representando a Estados Unidos de América, Zoe Miller. And your champion on the uneven bars at the 2023 Pan American Games is Zoe Miller of the USA. What a phenomenal exhibition she treated us to today. The gold medal to Zoe Miller of the United States. Ladies and gentlemen, the national anthem of the United States of America. Damas y caballeros, el himno nacional de Estados Unidos de América. The woman whose uneven bars routine sealed the team Ladies gold for the United the States American now has a gold medalist. of her own as an Damas individual. The results of the women's uneven bars final at the 2023 Pan American Games. Bronze to Flavia Saraiva of Brazil, silver to Rebecca Andrade of Brazil, and gold to Zoe Miller of the United States. Santiago, stay with us for the final ceremony. Men's rings. Quédense con 